what's up y'all it's tonight money's back with another video so today y'all i'm just gonna be showing y'all um me waxing my lip um yeah i did go to esthetician school so i do know how to you know do this but um so i have my wax pot already on i'm about to get it stirring Ooh, yes it's ready um let's see if i can show y'all a little bit so this is the wax pot i'm using um it's full so like i can't like turn it over but this is the wax uh, i'm using Gigi's. um i think it's called honey bee um yeah Gigi's all-purpose honey wax um, this is a really good soft wax to use, especially for beginners. So, um, yeah, I would recommend that if you are practicing either at home, you can get this off Amazon or at Cosmoprof or whatever you prefer. Um, I'm not sure where else it is, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, and y'all, at this video, let me know if y'all want to see like more videos on me waxing myself um you know i could do like my norms my face um yeah legs i mean it doesn't matter but yeah just let me know if y'all like these videos uh this is my first one so let's just see how this one goes oh and i have waxed my lip before the reason why i'm trying soft wax today is because um I've tried hard wax. That's what I've been doing for the most part. But soft wax works better because it can grip the hair. Um, so I, I definitely prefer soft wax for like your face or your lip or whatever. Um, because hard wax kind of, it just doesn't get the hair off of me. So yeah, I mean, everyone's different, but I've already cleansed my face. I'm gonna just apply a little bit of powder and then we're gonna get started. So I'm just putting a little powder, not much. Um, just so it can get better. Cause we is not finna keep going over my lip just to get the hair off like no oh another thing if y'all are wondering if your hair is going to grow back like thicker um mine did it uh it's i don't think it's supposed to it's really not supposed to um yeah like i said mine have not grown back thicker um it's the same if not less but like i said it's different for everybody so please don't get mad at me if your hair go back thicker than what it's supposed to be <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and put this on here That was honestly a big section. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> but it's cool. Like, like I said, my pain tolerance is high. So I did this I did this before. Damn, I couldn't even talk. But yeah. Hold on, this is not even as hot as it should be. 
Oh yeah, and I did test the wax before I actually started the video. I didn't show y'all that, but I did test it. Okay. I probably should have took my glasses off, but like I need to see, so. Okay, so before I rip this, um, I know I look crazy. <laughs> I had to cut the pieces because they were too long. But um, if you don't know, when you're waxing, um, yeah, when you're waxing, you're supposed to rip away from the hair. So my hair grows down. So that means I will rip up. Um, so the hair could come out because if I rip the way my hair grows, then it's not going to come out. But you always rip the opposite direction of your hair growth. So you, um, it can actually like come out. But yeah, so we're just going to, I'm just going to hold it. I forgot what you call this term. Uh, anyways, I think it's called, uh, I forgot what to call y'all. I ain't been in school in so long, but anyways, you're gonna put some pressure, hold it. Okay, so I need to put another one over here. That looks great, y'all. So with soft wax, um, with your strips, you can always, um, like keep going back over it with the same strip. Um, you don't have to change it out, um, because it's your own hair, and it ha it's gonna instead of putting more wax on your, you know, the area and then re-ripping it with a whole different one. You're honestly just wasting, um like your paper and whatever wax is like left on my face i would just take the strip and keep you know waxing so i can get all that wax off my face um but yeah it definitely look, looks great it definitely took so this side i didn't do yet yeah all right, y'all, so um, I am about to do the other side and then I'm gonna do the middle. Okay, so if y'all are wondering, like, how long do you have to let it sit before you know that it's ready? Um, honestly, honestly, when you put the strip on here, um, you should feel that it should still be warm when it has cooled down. Um, cause there's no like set time to like, oh, after 10 seconds, rip it off. Like, no when you feel that it's kind of like cooled off and it's just been a little minute. And and that's another thing, you don't want to have to have the wax too hot. That's why you always test it like on your hand or your arm or something before you put it on your face or wherever you're putting it. Um, so yeah, she had the wax too hot and it 
burnt like my lip area. So like after the whole wax, it hurt worse. Um, and but like when your first time, it's gonna hurt the worst, of course. But but I'm about to just hold this. I ain't gonna lie, that one kind of hurt, <laughs> but not bad. She is clear. I don't know if y'all can see, but look at all that was. My hair is like really fine, so it's kind of hard to see it. Like, yeah. So I'm just gonna. Fold it. The more you get off with the, you know, the leftover the better it will be because then you won't have to try to get it off with the wax um like the wax cleaner or whatever like at the after um wax care or whatever um like i said it's just easier like yeah but as you can see it's very smooth, like, very smooth. You can, the way you can tell, like, for, well, for the way I can tell when I get a wax, I mean, when I wax my lip is that your lip will start to look lighter and then it will like, well, for my lip right here, it starts to like flare up more. So like you can see right here my lip starts to flare up more and it just looks so much clean. Like, I don't know, but that's how I can, that's how I can like tell the difference when I wax my lip. All right, so let me sanitize my hand. So I have some after wax spray that came with the kit. So I'm just gonna use that. Man, all right, y'all. So I'm gonna do a quick semi clean up on my eyebrows. Uh, like I said, I really don't wax them, but I just want to wax something, so. <laughs> Oh lord, not my edges. No, I didn't take none of my edges off, but I was close. See, yeah, that's why, that's why I gotta be careful because my edges come down to my eyebrows. See, I didn't even mess up my edges right here a little bit. It's okay.
the last thing I'm doing is um, the middle of my eyebrows and then I'm done. Alright y'all, so again with eyebrows, um, I know y'all see I, I rip for this eye this way, for this eye this way, um, darn, did my hair go down a little? Uh, you know what? Something telling me my hair grows up. Yeah, I think my hair grows up like this. So I have to rip down. Which is weird. Oh, I was like, y'all, I don't see any hair, but I forgot I don't have no glasses on. Alright y'all, that is it, okay, like, that's it, um, yeah, let me put some toner and some pre, I mean, after wax stuff on there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do my makeup today. I think I'm going to do my makeup today. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I might not even do my whole face. I, I, I don't know. I just, I want to do a little something, you know. Maybe some eyebrows and lashes. Um, maybe maybe some no makeup makeup look. You know what I mean? I might I might film it actually. I put my phone. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, because I just feel like I haven't really been doing any videos, and I love makeup so much. <laughs> See y'all in the next video. I really hope y'all like this wax video. Like I said, make sure y'all let me know if y'all like these videos, if y'all want me to do more. Um, also, make sure, first thing is to subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you do that first. Make sure you tell other people about my channel. Make sure they come subscribe because y'all don't want to miss none of the videos I post, period. Um, <laughs> But yeah, make sure y'all go shop my lashes. 25 millimeter minx, the best minx out. Y'all make sure y'all go shop with me. My link is always gonna be down below in my description box. So make sure to check that out. Also go um, connect with me on my social media. All my social media is down below as well. Go follow me, I follow back. I follow back, I'm not stingy. Um, but yes, make sure y'all connect with me. Um, give me ideas for videos y'all want to see. All that good stuff. And y'all, I'll see y'all later.